Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel at Art by Kenzie. Today we're going to paint this Marlin and I'm going to walk you through this painting real quickly. So let's get started. Today I'm working on them by 14 flat panel canvas that's been primed with gray gesso. Obviously this is a reused canvas but no big deal because we'll be painting over it. All right let's go over the colors I used real quick. We got titanium white, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, diacetine purple, primary blue, turquoise blue, aqua green, cobalt blue, sky blue, cerulean blue, deep violet, deep magenta, cadmium yellow medium hue, cadmium red light hue, cadmium orange hue, Indian yellow, and burnt sienna. So add those to your palette and let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have all these colors, don't worry about it. Just add whatever you have available. Starting with my size 12 flat brush, this is a Zen Royal and Lang Nickel flat brush, and it's fantastic. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and take my cerulean blue and start painting in the sky, but I'm just going to add in the wave line so it just starts as a horizon and then a big wave that dips up, and then we're going to go down and add in the inner wave line. So fill that in with cerulean blue and then Take some of your thalo blue and we're just going to darken that inner wave line real quick and then go back to your cerulean blue and just fill in your sky. Make sure that you have enough water on your brush so that your paint is flowing real nice and smoothly. And you can go ahead and add a little titanium white because with this gray background, our paint is going to dry a little bit darker as acrylics tend to do. So just make sure you lighten up your sky just a hair, like a hair, tiny little bit. Okay, so go ahead and smooth that all out. Again, if your paint's not flowing easily, just go ahead and add some water. And that should really help it flow and mix together. Okay, next we're going to take your aqua green and fill in the area starting the ocean color, I guess you could say. And I'm adding this in sparsely and scatteredly. Very loose painting here because I want to mix and blend all these wet paints together to make these beautiful sea blue and green colors. Okay, rinse your brush off a little bit and go ahead and grab some cobalt blue. And we're gonna start adding the shadow in section of our ocean. So don't forget, we're gonna have our marlin in the center of our canvas. So you can skip that area. We don't need to darken that area up too much because we don't have to lighten it back up before we paint the marlin in. But add some phthalo blue and ultramarine blue and cobalt blue and just add those in all together. And you can even add in some dioxazine purple in the de deepest, darkest areas of the ocean. So on the bottom part of the canvas, go ahead and add some violet or diocesine purple in there. And you can also go over that wave, um, the dip right there. Just add in some diocesine purple in that area too. Okay, let's rinse off our brush, grab a little aqua green, and just add some more in there. Rinse it off again real well, and grab some Indian yellow and titanium white, and we'll add in some clouds and some reflections on the ocean surface. Of course, you can use a different paintbrush if you'd like. However, I'm still trying to paint loosely and learn how to do this a lot better and um, create more painting without less precision, if that makes sense. But do what you got to do. So once you're done with that, go ahead and grab some cobalt blue and cadmium orange hue and make a nice little gray color and then add a touch of titanium white to it. And I'm just going to scatter these gray clouds in the background over the sky. Now, you don't have to make this look all pretty and fancy because we really aren't going to be focusing on the sky in the background. We're going to be focusing on the marlin and this ocean surface and whatnot. So the stuff in the foreground, not the background. So do not focus on that section. Go back in and grab your Indian yellow, titanium white, and add some surface reflections to the ocean wave. And then add back in some color to your clouds because the, the background is really dark and the yellow and white don't really show that well. So now I'm going to add some wave lines into the mid-ground of our ocean surface. So that's reflecting, again, the sky and the clouds. And don't forget to go back into the clouds and add some more yellow and white and cadmium yellow in there just to brighten them up a bit because they are on a gray surface, meaning that the paint is going to darken a bit deeper than the shade that it is currently at. <laughs> We're also going to start adding in some wave lines into the water behind the wave in front. So I guess the mid-ground, I guess. Oh, I should have said we were doing the waves in the foreground. So before, I'm sorry. Anyways, back to the mid-ground. So I'm adding some diagonal lines. So some waves coming at us. The boat is going to be sitting in the middle or the yacht is in the middle. And the fish is going to be below that. So the marlin will be below that. Okay, so now I'm going back in with some turquoise blue. And just filling in some of the gray areas between those yellow diamond-like shapes in this surface of the water in the foreground and I'm also adding in some of that turquoise blue underneath the wave lines and a little turquoise blue also in the mid-ground behind that wave line. Go ahead and rinse off your brush and grab some turquoise green. I'm going to add some 
waves with this turquoise green just by tapping our brush a little over the yellow waves and then in the midground where underneath the boat where it's going to sit on top of that turquoise paint we just added in and then in the very far background and you notice that the lines of the background are very they're straight they're horizontal and then they sort of come diagonal towards us so they're at an angle towards us so go ahead grab some phthalo blue and just recreate those waves that are the wave lines in the um, foreground sort of midground areas and then continue that back into the background or not the back the midground sorry guys and create some shadows for the waves underneath the boat that will be sitting on top of that we're just trying to darken in these areas to make them very prominent and then we can take some cobalt blue and we're going to go underneath that wave line and this is where the marlin's going to be coming in and it's going to be dragging some of the shadow and the wave so it's like a wave swoosh is the only word that i can come up with <laughs> i guess a wave swoosh but anywho, put that brush aside and grab a little oval mop brush like this, or round mop brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush, but go ahead and mix up some titanium white, some cerulean blue, and cadmium orange hue. And we're just going to go over those gray clouds again real quickly and just make them more noticeable. And we want them to be like a little lighter than the color that they are currently, so add a little bit more titanium white if you can't really see them. Okay, and once you're done with that, rinse off your brush, grab some white and some Indian yellow, and add some... Um, puffy cloud tops to these clouds. Then go ahead and grab some white with some Indian yellow and cadmium orange hue. And we're gonna add some oranginess to these clouds. So look more like the shadow colors. And this is gonna be more focused to the left side of the clouds. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab some dioxazine purple and titanium white and cadmium orange hue and add these to the underneath sides of the clouds and any other shadowed areas of the clouds. So underneath and to the right side of the cloud shapes, I'd say. Again, go ahead and rinse off your brush, then grab some white and cadmium yellow hue, and now we're going to really add some highlights to the tops of these clouds. So you can add this really to anywhere you really want. Again, this will not be the focus. Do not waste your time on these clouds. Rinse off your brush, grab a little bit of orange into that color, and just add a little bit more of the orange to some of the clouds on the left side. Go ahead and put that brush aside and grab our size 2 flat brush, and we're going to go ahead and dip into some titanium white, and we're just going to add in... The outline of our yacht. So grab a little paint and draw a straight line horizontally and then dip it down and swoop it into the wave below and then draw a line that goes from that straight horizontal line and angle it up slightly and then come back down and then we have that back line on the side on the left side of the boat and then we're going to add our little glass frame on the top of the boat or the top side of the boat so go at an angle upwards go up a little bit and come down to the back side and then draw the other angle of the little front of the boat and then we're going to add in the little top horizontal lines that are little decks that you can climb up on for the shipping boat and then add the sides to them just little lines here and there and then we're going to add a ladder in the back side of the boat so just add this white paint to the tip of your brush and just we're just tapping it tap 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 you can add another ladder and then connect a line for I think this is like an antenna line or maybe it's a fishing pole, I'm not really sure. And then we're gonna add the back end of the boat. And now my paint is still wet. I don't know about yours, you can dry off your paint canvas if you'd like prior to doing this, but just fill in this area with white paint, just very lightly glaze it. And then take some phthalo blue and some Mars black and I'm just gonna add a little color to the bottom side of the boat. And this is just gonna be a little decorative color paint for the bottom side of the boat. And then we're gonna grab some Mars black and burnt sienna and paint in the windows of our little yacht. Once you've quickly done that, rinse off your brush, grab some cerulean blue and titanium white and a little bit of diastasine purple and aqua green and it's going to create this old gray shade and this is going to be our shadow tone for the underside of the top deck of the boat. So just draw a line, that, that little um, arch line and then arch it down to the bottom of the boat as well. So this whole area underneath the top of the deck is going to be shaded and then I'm going to just add a little of that aqua green and diastasine purple. It's a little bit darker than the shaded area of the yacht to the back edge of the boat. And that's going to be reflecting the water. So you want it to be more aqua greenish. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go in and paint in our marlin. So take some titanium white and some Indian yellow. And we're going to add in a little horizontal line. And then create the fish arc. So the arc of the fish. <laughs> so it goes up and then slightly back and straight and then up again. So the tail is going to be going farther back away from us and the head in the the little mouth thing that comes out is going to be closest towards us so that's going to be the biggest area so now i'm just going to take some more white and some dicing purple and a little bit of cadmium orange shoe and we're just going to draw this little top area of the fish if you know what a marlin looks like it has this little top area thing like so you have the regular shape 
of the fish and then it adds a little hump on top of it and then off of that will be the fin but i'm just going to take some of my purpley color and add in a little underside to the mouth area so this will be our mouth opening right here and i'm going to do a horizontal line for where the tongue area would be i guess and then we're going to do the underside of the mouth and then the underside of the belly of the fish which is just going to dip right on down and then we're just going to add some lines in. So marlins have these lines or gill areas. So I'm just going to add those in real quick. And then I'm going to take some of my deep violet. And I'm just going to add in some detail lines and whatnot. So if you want, you can just follow along as I do this. I don't know if I can explain this all. I will slow down the video so you can watch it. Please remember you can pause this video anytime using YouTube gear, um, gear settings on the top right side of the screen, I believe. So feel free to stop, pause, rewind, do whatever you need to do to um, follow along as I paint this. So I just created the bottom layer of the fish or the bottom line of the fish belly with that deep violet. And uh, feel free to fix up the lines. My paint is currently dry. So I just went underneath and fixed up the underside of the fish. And now I'm just drawing in another gill um, from the mouth and it kind of comes over to the left and then hooks up. And then I'm just taking some dioxazine purple and just adding in some more gill lines and whatnot. And then I'm just gonna add in the little eyeball right here. Okay, go in with some more deep violet and go on the top side of the fish and just add that in. And these are just little detail lines. A lot of this will be painted over and over again. So don't worry if you think you're messing up, you'll probably paint over this. The main color of the fish is that yellow, Indian yellow color, that golden yellow color. So I just took that um, deep violet and I made the fin on top of the fish and it gets very, it's very long at first. We'll extend that. And then it comes in very quickly and gets short and then just trails back. So I just added some white, some deep magenta and cadmium orange hue and did the underside of the belly. And now we're just gonna do this the dorsal fin, not dorsal fin, the side fin or whatever, the little arm fin. And that just rounds out towards us and then hooks back. And then the underside underneath that for a little shadow color. Take some white and some uh, Indian yellow and go ahead and color in or paint in some of the fish now. We're just gonna add in the main color of the fish. And don't forget the background of our painting is gray. So we'll probably have to go over this because it will dry darker in shade than it should be. However, we want this color, this fish to be very vibrant in shade. So don't feel like nervous at all if you think the color is too bold we want it to be vibrant we want it to be very saturated so continue using indian yellow and titanium white to fill in the fish and then we're going to go over the little fin and i'm just tap 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 and then i'm just going to drag this fin back and there's another little fin back here that we're just going to fill in real quick and then we'll eventually get to the tail right now and we are barely going to see this tail because it is so far back and the water is so blue and aqua -y, so it's just going to really blend in take the indian yellow and white color and just go ahead and fill in this top little hump area of the fish and the back side of the fish too is going to be filled in with like some cobalt blues and aqua greens so don't worry too much about filling that in with yellow Focus on the, the area of the fish that's mainly in our foreground, right over here with the eyeball. <laughs> this side, this area that we're painting in right now. So go ahead and take some aqua green, and we're just going to add in this little line right here, this line of the fish. And that's like the top side of the fish. And then from there comes down these little round areas, so the hump is going to have some lines too. And then from the hump comes out another round line. So with marlins, they come these little round lines around the bellies. And I'm just filling in the fin again, adding some magenta, cadmium orange hue, and white in the underside of the belly. Take some aqua green, and we're just going to start blending that into the water and the fin as well, and the top side and the belly of the fish. Take some deep violet, and we're going to add in these little round lines that I was just talking about. And forget, remember, I'm trying to paint very loosely, so this is not going to be a perfectionist painting. We're doing an abstract painting, and I'm trying to get better at being looser in painting. And I was actually quite satisfied with this painting. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're all doing well, and you're enjoying this painting, and you're just relaxing and de-stressing. And I know I haven't painted in a while, and I'm really sorry about that. I had company that stayed with me for a very long time, but they left, and I've set up my art studio again. So I will be adding more tutorials coming soon, which is very exciting. I feel like I'm getting my groove back. <laughs> I hope you have too. All right, going back in with some deep violet and some dioxazine purple. I'm just adding in the little underside of the fin. Rinse off your brush. And I'm going to grab my number one round black swan acrylic paintbrush. And I'm going to hit that wet and tap into some dioxazine purple and paint in the eyeball again. And then I'm going to use this little round brush just to add some detail to our fish. 
so mainly lines and maybe scumble some paint around. I'm going to grab some of that deep violet and titanium white and just create that dorsal fin going back. Then grab some cobalt blue and we're just going to add these little patches to the fish. So that little aqua line that we had, we're going to add it very patchily. So keep going with some cobalt blue and add that into the tail and the dorsal area. And then grab some aqua green, add in a little highlight to the tail that will be shining through. Then we're going to take some cobalt blue and some... Uh, ultramarine blue and add in the shadow tail of the 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 backside of the fish. Then I'm going to take some of that deep violet titanium white and re add in some color to the belly of the fish and add in a little fin underneath. I'm going to take some of that aqua green and cobalt blue and go back in underneath and just add in some color, some shadow colors. Right now we're gonna add some dicing purple and cobalt blue to shadow the fin of the fish and the underbelly. Then blend that in with some magenta, cadmium orange, and titanium white, just a little white. And we're gonna mix that all together to get a very nice little pink shade. You can add a little Indian yellow to that color too. So we need this light, light pink shade. And we're gonna blend that into the belly side of the fish because that's gonna be turning into that yellow color. So we want that to blend very nicely. And then a little bit over here and over there and just loosely add it in. <laughs> Rinse off your brush and grab some more of our pink shade and add a little bit into the fin. Just tapping in some lines or drawing in some lines, painting in some lines. And then we can just add in some random shapes Okay, rinse off your brush, grab some cerulean blue, titanium white, diacetine purple, deep violet, and light magenta, or deep magenta. And we're going to add in this purpley shade to the top side of the fish, and it's really pretty. And so we're going to add some white and some deep violet. Mix that up a little bit and add that up over here and underneath the belly and on the fin. And this fin is going to be reflecting the light from the waves on top. Like I said, please feel free to slow down this video if it's going too fast for you. But I'm just trying to give you guys a quick rundown of how I did this painting because it took me quite a long time. So if it takes you a long time, don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, rinse off your brush and grab some more cobalt blue. And we're just going to do some more funky shapes and shadows. And we're going to go over this blue with some aqua green eventually. And maybe some turquoise blue as well. So now we're just going to do those lines that I was talking about. Um, that go around the belly and around that top dorsal area. The fin or the hump of the fish, I guess you could call it. But yeah, we're just rounding these out. And they're going to get smaller, skinnier, and closer together as they get farther away. Just keep that in mind as you paint these in. And paint them in loosely, guys. Okay, now that we're done with the lines, grab some cobalt blue and just fill in some of the tail of the fish. Then we're going to grab some aqua green and fill in some areas too. And I am just blobbing this paint around. I am just mixing and blobbing it on top and layering this paint because it is fuzzy wuzzy back there. We have no idea what's going on back there. We're just trying to blend it in slightly to the water yet make it kind of noticeable at the same time. So just um, don't worry about it. It's not what we want to focus on. Okay, add some more aqua green to your paintbrush and we're just going to add some over the cobalt blue. Just a little bit. Don't go too far back because you won't be able to see it. And then we're going to grab some of our cobalt blue. And we're just going to add in some more of these little dotted areas, these little blobs, blotches that fish have. That's what I was saying. Try don't, don't be perfect because even if you're perfect, you might not capture it properly. <laughs> Fishes have very strange patterns and whatnot. Grab some deep violet. And I'm just going to go over some lines again that I might have lost and blotch in some areas. Like, your painting does not have to be exactly like mine, so don't try to make it like mine exactly. Um, make it your own. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I really enjoy painting this. I can't wait to start my next painting and share it with you guys. <laughs> so I'm still going with that deep violet color, and I'm just going over that back fin. Maybe take some diacetine purple to make it more prominent. And then take some aqua green, blend it into the water on top of the fish. Then we're going to take some more aqua green and just add in some waves on here. Some highlights to those waves underneath the boat and in that little wave range area. Take some dicing purple and make that line, that wave line more prominent. Then aqua green and add in a little bit more of that, that water and cobalt blue. Take some white and yellow, add in that fin area. Take some more white and Indian yellow, and we're going to blob in some more areas on the fish. And this is going to be more deep yellow than previously.
Then we're going to take some white and cadmium yellow, just a little bit, and we're going to add a highlight to the top of the fish and the fin. Then we're going to take some of that color and add some aqua to it. And we're just going to go back over some of these highlight areas of the fish. So this is where the sun is going through the water and just hitting some spots on the fish. So I'm randomly adding them to some high points. Okay, then we're going to take some white cadmium yellow again and go and add some highlights to the fish. So mainly the top side of the fish is going to be this cadmium yellow and titanium white color. And then the, the mid side to bottom area of the yellow fish is going to be the Indian yellow and white color. So I'm just highlighting the top of that little snout fin thing or that's the mouth. I, don't, I can't think of the word that you would call it right now. <laughs> but yeah, that area right there. And I'm going to go underneath it with that deep violet color. And dioxine purple, perhaps. Fill in the mouth a little bit. More, fill in those lines that we had. Just going to add in some more detailed lines here and there. Some more titanium white, some Indian yellow. Fill some areas in. And then we're going to rinse off our brush. I went ahead and added some Brilliant Magenta to my palette. So I'm going to go ahead and take some titanium white and a little Brilliant Magenta and add that in to the underside of the fish and on top of that fin on top. And then add a little Meridian line to the fish as well. And then paint in a little area underneath that area as well. Then underneath the little gills. And then grab some deep violet and titanium white and reshadow in the underside of the fin on the side of the fish and the underside of the belly too. Rinse off your brush and grab some aqua green and we're just gonna add that underneath here real quick. Rinse off your brush. And then we're gonna go in some cobalt blue and add that into the fin on the side of the fish and add some dioxine purple and titanium white and go over that a little bit. Then we go ahead and rinse off your brush and grab that pink magenta color again and go over that little side fin and brighten it up a bit. And then add some over to the side area a little bit here and there. And we might add it obviously a little bit more white to this color and maybe a little bit of cadmium orange hue. Take a little bit of your cadmium orange hue with a titanium white, just a touch of it. And we're just going to add in some orange to the fish, just some various areas. <laughs> Rinse off your brush and we're going to add some Indian yellow and titanium white and add a little eyeball in. And feel free to go in with some dioxazine purple and reshape your eye. And then add a little dot of titanium white, just titanium white to the eye for shine to make it more realistic. And then we're going to add in the bubbles, so the air bubbles. So go in with aqua green and titanium white. And we're just going to create these little blobby areas and soften them with your finger. You can add some cobalt blue to that color underneath the fish. And then feel free to add some aqua greens in and additional cobalt blues and just smudge them around to create a variety of air within the water where the fish is swimming around and trailing these air bubbles. Then we're going to add some ultramarine blue and cobalt blue around the bottom side of the fish. And that just adds in this additional blue shade to the water which is just beautiful and you can add that in here and there and just dab it around and then take some phthalo blue and add that underneath for some additional shadows too and even some dioxine purples if you're feeling i don't know funky <laughs> Continue adding those additional layers of blue to wherever you feel like you want them underneath the fish just to add additional depth and shadow to the water because the water underneath is very dark and remember we want this very saturated so it's a very colorful painting. We're going to take that ultramarine blue and cobalt blue color and maybe a little aqua green in there and add in some additional shadows and maybe some wave. I mean there's different depths to the water so the water is going to be all these different shades of color. So now we're going to rinse off our brush and grab some more cadmium yellow hue and titanium white and make sure it's more saturated with Indian yellow because we really want this to be a saturated Indian yellow color. If you don't have Indian yellow just use your yellow and a little bit of orange just to make it like this golden yellow color. Go back in with some cobalt blue to the fin and we're just going to reshape our fin in so you can kind of make it out in the background and then you can add it some aqua green and we're really just trying to make the back fin really noticeable I guess you could say without making it a different color. So just keep adding in some different shades of blue that we did before and just fill in those areas. I'm just going to take some phthalo blues, ultramarine blues, and cobalt blues and just add some additional color to the water underneath the fish. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and add some of that ultramarine blue and cobalt blue to just a little bit of the fin on the side of the fish. Then go ahead and rinse off your brush and we're going to go back in around the eyeball with that diastasine purple and just darken that in a bit and add some additional detail lines with some deep violet. 
just shaping around the fish and the fin. Add some diacetyl purple and deep violet to your brush and go in and shadow in that fin. And let it trail back. And then take some Mars black and burnt sienna and add that color into the windows of your yacht. And then we're gonna take a little aqua green and go over some of the rails of the boat. And then add some titanium white and Indian yellow, just a little bit of Indian yellow, and add in those waves that would be crashing into the boat as the boat is speeding towards the fish. And trail it back behind the boat, leaving a wake. Then we'll take some Indian yellow and titanium white and add some waves that are reflecting the, the sunlight and the yellow clouds in the background and add that to the waves in the back on um, the midground. And then we take that color and add it to the wave in the foreground that's coming over the fish that's reflecting the water in the midground, actually. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> and keep adding in these diagonal and wave-like lines to the top of the water. Actually, this is the underside of the water, I'm sorry. And I'm just adding diagonal lines and triangles and diamond shapes. And then you can add some Indian yellow to the wake water. Remember, we're being loose here, loose painting. Then we can add some cadmium red light hue and add that over our yacht window a little bit under the wake line and just add that in. And then add some titanium white to the top of the boat. That's going to be the most highlighted area. And underneath here, which is still going to be um, highlighted because it's going to be coming outwards. And then add a little aqua green to it, and it's going to be reflecting the water. So the, the back side of the boat is reflecting the water. Then grab your aqua green and diacetine purple and create the shadow of the boat again underneath the top side of the boat and the side of the boat. And then some Indian yellow to the little area that it's already painted in that's reflecting the water. And you can add a little to the side of the boat as well and around the um, windows of the yacht and to the decks. Continue blending that out until you're satisfied. Then we're gonna rinse out our brush and grab some aqua green and just add some color to the underside of the water in between the Indian yellow sections. Again, this is the bottom side of the water reflecting the light and the water that's in the midground. And once you're done with that, rinse off your brush and grab some phthalo blue. And we're just going to add some shadows just to make um, the waves a little bit more noticeable on the underside and in that wave line. Ooh, we're almost done. So exciting. And add some more ultramarine blue and cobalt blue into that little middle wave line as well. Now you can rinse off your brush and then grab some more cobalt blue and add a little bit more color and ultramarine blue too to the fish. And you can take some turquoise blue and add that in as well. And then you can add some aqua greens in and just keep touching this up until you're happy. And remember, you're not going to see the back end of the fish because it is going to be blending in with the water in the background. And then we're going to take some brilliant magenta, titanium white, and cadmium orange hue and just highlight again the underside of the belly and the fin and then around the mouth and the middle area of the fish. And then take some titanium white and cadmium yellow hue and just add some additional highlights to the top side of the fish and around the eyeball and the mouth. And don't forget, this is where the sunlight's going to be coming through the water and hitting the top side of the fish. So add some little taps and dabs down the back side. Then you can add a little bit more cadmium yellow hue to that color and come around the top side of the fish. And grab a little bit of your deep violin titanium white and add some more of this color to the fin and the top hump of the fish. And the middle area too. And I'm just tapping and dabbing here. And you can continue doing this until you're satisfied. It's really up to you. Taking deep violet, I'm just going to go around those little line areas again real quickly. And then in that meridian line too. And on the top lines. And just re-detailing my fish a little bit. Of course, you don't have to do this if you didn't cover your lines. I'm going to take a little diocesan purple as well and just deepen that shade just a bit. And then tap it into this middle section too. Just a little bit and then the fin. 
Ooh, as we wrap up this painting, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please remember to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. So I'm just taking that diacetine purple and just going around the outside of the fish and the fin and around the mouth again. And then taking some deep violet and titanium white and just adding in or blending out some of the colors on the fish on the underside. Then I'm going to take some white and cadmium yellow hue and just add some highlights again. Just touches and dabs. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I love this painting. I was so happy the way it turned out. And I would love to see your versions. So keep an eye out for my Facebook account where I hope you guys can give me a follow and um, show me what you guys have painted. Continue taking your Indian yellow and titanium white and just paint in the side of the fish. And then taking some titanium white, I'm just going over the top side of the yacht again. And then I'm just going to add in the little rails for the top side of the yacht. And I'm just doing this really quickly with my round brush. And I'm cleaning it up as I go. So don't worry about this. If you're doing it this way, <laughs> um, basically you just blob on some paint. And then you can clean it up to wherever you want it to be. Um, that just helps you create these really thin lines. It's just one of the techniques that you can use if you have trouble drawing lines or painting in lines. Once you're done with the rails, just take some aqua green and cobalt blue and add in some shadows underneath the boat. And then take some phthalo blue and we're just going to add in some additional wave shadows here and there. Then take some more cobalt blue underneath the boat. Then take some aqua green and just add in some of the colors around the boat and in the background too. Add some to the top of the yacht as well because those areas will be reflecting the water. And then underneath the boat, add that shadow color again, the aqua green and the diacetine purple. And then you can add just a little line here for a decorative little line for the boat. So once you're done with this, that pretty much wraps up our painting. So I hope you really enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. I know I have. Please remember to like this video, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, bye.